Turbo Conquering Mega Eagle! Hello folks, how you doing? Um, I just bought a, a cheap bench top power supply, variable power supply off eBay. Um, I thought I'd, thought I'd show, you, show you why I, why I bought it, well, one of the reasons why I bought it and uh, what it's like and um, how it is to use. Hey? There we go. Little, little power supply, hey? I do, I do have access to um, to power supplies, but they're all pretty old. Um, and uh, what? Because they're because they're sort of old um, transformer units. They're incredibly heavy, um, and uh, and what? Um, so I've I've never brought them home to do things at home with them, you know. Um, the sort of sort of thing that that will put my back out. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know how much I weigh. I'd, I'd I'd go on like you know forty kilo or whatever. A lot of copper in those old um, old power supplies. They're a little bit more manly than this one. This one's this one's only uh, it's thirty volt, thirty volt ten amp. Yeah, which is which is a good power supply. I definitely do for what I need. What I, what I use them for at work is. Um, testing charging systems and that so um, you know if I've got a, a fault that's being a little bit a uh, little bit tricky to find I can pull the the uh, right regulator and and the alternator off you know the same aircraft hook it all up on a bench and just do a real world test um, it's a lot a lot um, a lot better you know to be able to test stuff with a power supply than what some people do is just box swapping and you know there's, never gets anywhere fast like it costs people a lot of money and it doesn't actually fix the problem a lot of the time because there's a, a few other components in um, depending on the, the sort of system and, and sometimes you know someone's gone from a, a, a dynamo on an older aircraft and replaced it with an alternator system and then you can't rely on the the parts catalog quite so well um, or, the, or the maintenance manual so you've got to you got to use your <laughs> Use your brain and figure it out for yourself, didn't you? Uh, yeah. Either way, so um, it's very, very, very handy to have a variable power supply. Uh, I got the 30 volt because um, what 24 volts quite popular, and um, yeah, 24 volt systems on a on a vehicle normally when it's running are around 28 volts. So you've got to be able to replicate that. And certainly for me, I I, I want to be able to um, fine tune my charging system on my solar panels so I don't ruin the batteries isn't it because that's that's what's happened in the past because i trusted the the chinese the cheap chinese um solar charger to cut off and it did <laughs> it just just had my batteries bubbling isn't it bastard thing so now i'm going to use a cheap chinese uh power supply to test the cheap chinese um solar charging system which i don't know i'm sure i'm sure if you put enough cheap chinese stuff together then then one of them are going to work, hey. Let's have a look at it anyway. Nice, nice. What you'd expect from a bit of test equipment, I suppose. Not like the old stuff. Um, definitely not. Definitely not the same sort of build quality as, as what I'm used to with the um, old European units. Um, but then I can lift it with one finger, as opposed to both arms and the hernia. You know. So first thing to note, they've uh, they put a removable bridge piece here in between the ground and the neg um, uh, It's nice the fact that you can pull it out, but probably not. You, know, you just need to be aware that there's a uh, there's exposed exposed metal there. <laughs> So I'm just I'm just setting up um, near my control panel so I can get the leads to it. Um, 
these are the leads that came with the the unit yeah um, they're I've always known them as banana pins these things they kind of look like banana skins I don't know if that's why they're called banana pins but either way the ones that come with this machine are absolute dog egg like <laughs> Poz doesn't go in and uh, negs baggy baggy is a clown's pocket baggy is a tatty windsock you know uh, and they're very short as well but they came with the machine so I, I will be getting some more um, some more pins and making up a bunch of leads because you never, you never just need one set of leads anyway so um, I'm going to have to get a hammer and smash this into the uh, <laughs> no, I'm not really I'll just, I'll just be a little bit more persuasive but um, doesn't matter doesn't matter does it because uh, what they're just cheap pins aren't they Okay. I'm just going to set a multimeter up on the output of my um, my relays to see what's happening when I put the voltage on. I've just hooked it up to the relay. Um, it's actually a pretty nice feature. I don't know whether it's uh, just some some weird Chinese anomaly, but um, the fan was running on the back of this thing and uh, you, you couldn't hear it, I mean it was, it was very very quiet, it's raining rainy at the minute and it's a bit noisy in here um, so the fan was ooh, you know, running very quietly and the second I put a load on it you know the, the, fan, the fan stepped up two speeds you might be able to hear it now can you hear it? if I take the load off uh, how am I going to do that? Yeah, it's, it's gone back down to the low speed. Pretty cool. Like the other, the other suppliers I've used have all been massive and haven't had any fan because there's been, you know, a good uh, a good ten kilos of copper in the system. No. Okay. So, yeah, let me show you. These are my. These are my voltage cutout relays for the consumables. I'm not actually working on the um, working on the solar charger unit at the minute. Um, what I was going to do is have a look at these modules and basically, uh, if these will do what I want them to do, then I cut in and out at a, a lower set and higher set voltage. Um, what I'm going to do is get another one and just essentially use it as a solar charge controller and just leave that thing doing the wind because um, it does the wind all right I mean it I need this to uh, to put the brakes on the wind turbine which it does um, and and then divert to, to dump load because I suppose the dump load is essentially the brake for the wind turbine um, so I've got to keep this charge controller, or whatever, um, but the 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 solar side of it isn't isn't regulating the isn't regulating the charge. That's how I ended up dumping 32 volts into my batteries. But they don't appear to be too badly damaged. And it's like if you look on the right there, that's what the battery is holding at the minute. And we have got all the lights on, so um, and there's no there's no wind or solar going into this at the minute. We're still day, and the solar panels are disconnected, so. 20, 25 volts of all the all the lights on at the minute. Like I'm quite quite happy that these batteries aren't completely totaled anyway. I'm sure it hasn't done them any good, but it could have been worse. If I hadn't if I hadn't caught it, it would have been worse. I'm just going to have a play around with this this relay now and see if I can get it to uh, to do anything interesting. Okay, so. Which one we're looking at? There's one on the left. There we go. Alright, so you can see it's showing 20, 2005 here at the minute, and this one's 256. This is this is the this one's still running off my battery system. This one I've got running off my um my brand new bench top power supply. Which is actually turning out to be quite nice. For the money, it's nice. I would have rather have an old one, but you know. 
they're not mobile. Um, so what am I saying? Okay, so I hadn't I hadn't bothered um, adjusting the spread before, and these things have only been used really in anger once, um, and I wasn't in here when it happened. This because I left everything on. Um, what I wanted to know about was the spread. So you can see it's 20.05 at the minute, the lights have gone dark in here. If I turn the voltage up on my power supply, it comes in at 24, yeah? But if you see me go back down again, it, will cut, it should cut out at about 22 now. Come on. Oh, there we go. It was set at 22, so I don't know, it's a bit sluggish. Um, and then it won't come back on until 24. There we go. Alright, the reason the reason this is good, and that that probably means it's going to be okay for my my solar setup, is uh, if... Same with this as well, let's, let's explain what this is. This is currently doing the lights, yeah? So, if I've... If I've got... Um, if I've got my lights going off when I get below 22 volts, um, then the second the second this switches the lights off, there's not going to be any load on the battery. And uh, if you've ever if you've ever done a load test on a battery, you'll see you know you'll put the put the load on it, it will drop in voltage, drop in voltage, drop. And then the second you take the load off, ping, goes straight back up again. Not not as high as it was when you're fully charged, but um, so that means if, if it cuts in and out at the same voltage, it will just sit there for like, you know, until something burns out basically. Um, and that's that's what I need in my solar system. And I can do it all in one unit and these are just like little little two pound fifty volt control modules. So that's very good. I'll just show you the um I'll just show you the what's name again. It does have it does have current control, so I can limit the amount of current going through it. It's very very nice here. I can I can see that I've I'm pulling um, 0.1 of an amp. Um, that's just telling me what I'm pulling at the minute. I haven't set a current, and you wouldn't you wouldn't really want to set a current um, doing diagnostics like this, I suppose. Uh, that's that's probably only going to be useful to me if I'm doing things like um, you know electrolysis on on uh, rust removal stuff like that but again not really uh, not really vital as you can just turn the voltage down and you'll you'll affect the current like that anyway but um, yeah maybe I'll maybe I'll use that side of it unlikely but it's, it's nice having an ammeter there anyway um, I'll just just turn the turn the voltage down at least try and stay out of your way and way out your way It is a bit slow, that, that controller, it should come back in at 24. Yeah. Yeah, cool. There we go. Well, that's that. What else can I put some voltage on? I don't know at the minute. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll find something. Don't worry. 